Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, guys? Zay here with another episode of Zay's Experience. So today's finally the day, guys. We're going to LAX. We're going to be flying over to Italy. We're going to be flying over to Italy. We're going to be flying over to Italy. But first... So going the wrong way. I think you are crazy cat lady. You're a crazy cat lady. We are currently extremely lost here. We just arrived at Zurich. We thought the airline was gonna provide an accommodation for a 20 hour layover, but apparently they don't. So we're trying to find an Airbnb right now as soon as possible. That way we can have somewhere to sleep <laughs> uh, in the airport. If not, um, we'll figure it out. But so far everything looks pretty. Yeah. It's cold, it's very cold. <laughs> Now I'm wearing shorts. Everything looks very clean. I hardly understand anybody, but we'll make it work. We got to make it work. <laughs> I'm worried. <laughs> we read the signs, but we just read the wrong ones. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh it's gonna start. Look. Ooh. <laughs> Ape meets technology. This is so cool, they had like a little station here right in between everything as opposed to having uh, a bus take you to over to the main station um, they have like this little place where you kind of just board this train and it's 30 seconds and it passes every 32, every two minutes actually o'clock we've been looking for this place uh, but it's been a little bit hard to get around Switzerland can be a little bit stern <laughs> sometimes uh, we asked the police for directions they sent us completely the wrong way and we asked a couple of people in the though they try to help us with good heart um, not much success but now we're finally here it's eight o'clock <laughs> but to keep in mind we arrived at the airport at three o'clock so and it all appears that the actual trip just to get to this spot wouldn't would have been like 25 minutes from the not like 15 minutes from the airport down and then a seven seven to eight minute walk over here so yeah it's not as easy as it may look to get around Switzerland but there's definitely some really beautiful places that we saw along the way in how we got lost it was, it was pretty cool we took Two trains, one one on the way back and stuff. So if you've never been around like with the whole platform system and all that stuff, trust me, it's it, take your time, guys, and don't try to rush anything. <laughs> I think I'm still the only person in all of Zurich that is still wearing shorts. Like I've seen zero people with shorts. I am still the only one. I need my luggage. So guys, we are here at our hotel at Zurich, well, well, our Airbnb here at Zurich, and it's pretty cool. I really dig it. My girlfriend, I don't think she likes it that much, but I really like it. It's like this little community of hangers. I thought it was just, the reason why I like it, it's just so smart. Um, what they did is they brought these little hangers, or they built these little hangers, and they put a bunch of bunk beds inside and they put a little table or you know something to make it livable to make it a livable space and it looks really really cool and it just goes to show you with what a little bit of imagination you can do you don't need that much we got our two little bunk beds right there look at me everyone I totally slept on the top one because Myra I think just 
<laughs> wasn't having it. She, was, she looked a little pissed last night. No. No, we both slept on the bottom one. Um, we got a cool little painting here, and then we got wooden floors. So it just goes to show you guys, this a lot can be done with a small space. And of course, there's my Inception bag. A bag within the bag within the bag. Got a bag. Then we put another bag inside, and then there's a, like another bag on the back. Bag Inception. And to be honest, I think it's awesome, especially for what we paid for here in Zurich. Every It was dirt cheap for Zurich, at least. Um, anything here in Zurich, as you guys might know by now, it's insanely expensive, especially um, meat products. If you guys are carnivores and are thinking of coming here, um, good luck. You will need it. But my best recommendation is to go to the store called Migros. Migros is basically that store that's right in the middle. It's not the crazy cheap store, and it's also not Whole Foods, but it's something more like Vaughn, somewhere around in between. So it won't break the bank the same way as Whole Foods does, but it'll definitely get the job done. Also, one other thing. Right now, I wanted to record how the city was looking, but maybe you guys can go ahead and hear it. It's raining like crazy outside, so I cannot go outside and have the shotgun mic because it'll probably completely just get destroyed on me. And today's our last day, so I'll try to get some B-roll of whatever I can. So guys, I am back here at home, and I wanted to make this video for any of you guys traveling, especially if you guys are traveling to Switzerland or Zurich specifically, so I just wanted to make this quick video for you. So the very first thing that you should do when you guys land is get those transportation tickets. They should be about 32 francs, which is the coin that they use over there, and that will last you the entire day. So make sure you guys get those at the airport, either at a kiosk or a lady will go ahead and help you out, I believe, on the floor that's all the way to the top. Because you will be down at the basement when you arrive, so you have to go to the main level and then there's another third level and that would be it. That's the counter where they kind of send everybody that's traveling inwards. Also, also super, super important, having the tickets is not enough. You got to make sure that every time you get on the train or whatever system that you're using, there's three different um, systems of transportation. So make sure you stamp your ticket before you board every single time. As you'll see in my tickets, there's a couple of lines there. Those lines say the date and the time on which it was stamped. So make sure that you stamp those accordingly. Otherwise, you will get fined, and I haven't been fined, but I've heard that the fines are very hefty, and the coin is also not in your favor, so keep that in mind, guys. Also, I learned this a very bad way on my first time around, as you guys saw. Make some reservations. Make sure you guys make some reservations, because one night can go up to 150 bucks quick, like no problem. I was lucky enough the second time around to get like a ha like that hangar um, little place to stay for me and my girlfriend and it was available that day. Like there wasn't any more of them available and it was about 50 bucks, which is a steal considering that you are in Zurich and specifically in the location that it was, it was six minutes away from the airport and any to get anywhere in Zurich, it's super simple. Um, after you kind of understand how everything works. So make sure you guys make reservations ahead of time. That will save you a lot of money, guys. Also, I was a little bit harsh at the beginning saying that um, the food in Zurich is super, super expensive, and it is, don't get me wrong. The, the reason why it's so expensive is their food is just so pure, it's just so good. When you try it, you will guys see where your money's going. The quality of the food over there does not even compare to the one in the US. Like what we consider high end is kind of almost their normal, which is insane. This tastes freaking awesome, guys. It's really, really good. The quality of the food is just so, so good. It's ridiculous. The same thing happened to me in Italy. That was the one thing that I can attest to when I traveled to Italy. We I, we bought some regular strawberries from the market and we thought, oh, these are cheap. They're gonna be like whatever. We went to just regular market. They were the best strawberries that I've ever tried in my entire life. Their regular quality is not the same as our regular quality. So that is where your money is heading to. So rest assured that you'll be buying some quality items even though they are expensive and they are, they really are expensive guys. But once again, 
well the three markets that'll be your friend one will be aldi which is kind of starting to pop up here in the u.s a little bit more and more migros will be the second one and that's like the middle that's like your best bet and they sell some really good stuff and by no means is it crap quality it's really really good guys and then co-op which is like just everywhere over there is a little bit above that but it can get a little bit more expensive and again i gave these in the same order like ali would be the cheapest migros would be second cheapest and then co-op would be up there and then anything after that um go into any restaurant and let me know how that goes so definitely buy your food ahead of time and try to stay at a place where you guys can cook that way you guys can cook your meals, you have a little bit more control of your money, and that all helps, especially if you guys are traveling on a budget. And last but not least, do not be afraid to ask questions. I also said this, um, that people were a little too stern in trying to help you out, and they are. They're, they have a little bit of a pretty stern face, but they all mean well. At the end of the day, they kind of really do want to help you, but you know, um, sometimes there's that language barrier, you know, I speak my language and they have their language and so it's really tough for them to try to decipher what the hell we're trying to say, you know? That's one thing that I've gotten from my, all my travels, a lot of times we kind of expect um, people to kind of know our language or try to understand us a little bit better than we do they. I think once we knock all that aside, it, it's amazing what we can do. I started speaking with this lady that was giving me information while we were on the subway. She was really, really trying to help me out. And she was Brazilian, so she spoke Portuguese. And when I was talking to her, I kind of understood, but I really didn't, like, you know, and, and she did her best and she kind of showed us. So we kind of got like 70% uh, of what she said, which was good enough for me. And she had really good intentions. A lot of police officers also helped us out and they had really good intentions and they helped us out as much as they could. So people will help you guys. Do not be afraid to ask, especially if you guys are traveling. This is a skill that you must have. I cannot emphasize it enough. The more you open yourself to other people, the more you realize that by talking to others, you will get far. Like it's a, it's a fact guys. You will get very, very far. Just ask and you know, you shall receive. But in any case, guys, I am done with this video. This has gone long enough. Again, I just wanted to put the story out there for you guys in case you guys are traveling to Switzerland or Zurich or any other part of the world, really. You know, these are kind of like tips that kind of really just help out in general. But that is it for me, guys. If this video was helpful to you, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and push that subscribe button and push that notification bell. That way you guys get notified every time I come up with a video such as this. But in any case, guys, Zay out. Peace.